Hey guys, Michael Stilwell here from the Piano Technician Academy. Today we're going to be talking about what makes a piano heavy or light. So to do this, we as technicians use these gram weights and we put them on to the keys just like so or like so right above the balance rail and we measure how much grams it takes for that key to depress. So uh, these come in different sets. You can take them apart. There's different um, amounts on each one of these little sleeves. They look like little washers. And you can put that on there and measure it out. And that will tell us exactly how much weight it would take to press down the key. Now there are some situations where I've sat down at a piano and somebody is saying, oh, it plays like a truck, it's so heavy. And I sit down and play it and I'm like, it's actually really, really light down weight, but the hammers are so hard or the room is really loud or very quiet or whatever they're thinking it is. And they're playing different just based on the room. But technicians can actually do this mathematically and scientifically and get in there and go, actually, your down weight is exactly this. So when you're measuring down weight, you want to be right between 50 and 55 grams. So we're going to do this on these action models. And the downside of doing it on action models is they don't usually have leads in them. This one does. You can see there's a lead in the key right here. And what that does is that's going to make this feel a little bit heavier, right? There's more weight over here. So when I press this key, I have to lift that weight up. Whereas if I put a lead on this side of the balance rail, this is the balance rail right here, this will make it a little bit easier because I have some weight going with it. So I have a whole bag of leads right here. These are little, you know, basically pieces of lead that we will insert into a key to weigh off the key stick itself. So this one, we're going to work on this piano right here, but or this action right here. And as you can see, there are no leads in it because it's just an action model. But I will kind of replicate that. So let's cut into here and I'll show you how this works. So first of all, like I said, you want to have about 50 to 55 grams of down weight. Now I prefer it to be a little bit heavier. So I'm going to go for about 54. So each one of these rings has a number on it. This one says 32. This one says 16. I'll add those together. I'm at 48. Now I want to do, like I said, I want to be about, you know, 54, you know, right around 54. So let's see what these other ones say. This one says four. So if I put that on, now I'm at 52. This one says two. So now I'm at 54. So if I put this on here, And I always have, you always have to remember to do this. You always have to put your dampers down because if I don't do that, this key will be forced or be pressing against the damper weight too. So now we're lifting this, but I'm going to push the damper down and then I'm just going to kind of knock the action a little bit and see if it'll go down. But as you can see, it didn't, right? You want to know why? There's no leads in here. So let's start adding leads. Let's see. There we go. So it went down. If I move these out a little bit, I want to get right at that number, right where they just go down a little bit. And that'll tell me I have exactly 54 grams of down weight. So I'm still good. What if I push this one out a little bit? And not going down enough. So we need to push this one back a little bit. I start over. So now, as you can see, this is going down exactly how I want it to. So if I were going to weigh this key stick off, I would take these leads, drill holes in this wood, and force these leads in, which would give me the exact weight. So when I would go to weigh this later, these key leads would be in the key stick, and I'd be able to put this on and go, and boom, my key is weighed off exactly how I want it to be weighed off. Now, the reverse of that is to remove all of these, you want about 20 grams of up weight. That's also a factor as well, right? So if I take this 32 one off, I got a 16, let's see, and I got a four right here. So I can set these on. Let's drop this key again and put these on. And this should lift up right at 20 grams. Oops, I gotta do my damper again. I was helping it out. Still, perfect. So that's how we're gonna weigh off in action. And now these can go right into the key sticks themselves. And that's just one factor that has to do with what makes a piano um, heavy or light. Um, another thing to keep in mind is, well, how else would you adjust that? Well, there's a bunch of factors that go into down weight. There's friction. So there's friction on these balance rail pins um, and on the front rail pins. 
and in the action itself, there's how much these hammers weigh. If you've ever pulled a grand piano action out or even an upright piano action and looked at it, these hammers in the bass are a lot thicker. There's a lot more mass than there is in the treble. So these bass hammers are going to weigh a little bit heavier. So it's not one size fits all. It's not like, oh, well, I figured out all of the keys on this piano, they just put the, the leads right there. No, you're doing it for every single note because every single note is going to be laid off, weighed off differently. So guys, if you have any questions about up weight or down weight or anything like that, you can always feel free to shoot us an email at michael at pianotechnicianacademy.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more awesome piano related videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.